and welcome back today for a brand new video. I have for you a review on the new NARS liquid blushes. So these are the new Afterglow NARS liquid blushes. I have all six of the shades to share with you in today's video. We're going to do swatches. We're going to do some application. I'll share my thoughts on what I think of these and if I think they're worth the money. So if that sounds good, why don't we go ahead now and get started. So these have just launched from NARS. They are available now. I will of course have links to them down below, but they are a new liquid blush formula. So you know NARS already has liquid blushes, or if you don't, they do already have a liquid blush formula, but this is supposed to be a new version and or just a new addition to their liquid blush line. These are the Afterglow liquid blushes, and it does say that they are skincare infused. They're supposed to have up to eight hour wear, a buildable, comfortable formula. So everything that I feel like I love in a liquid product, these have. The packaging is super stunning on these um, as well. I feel like NARS just has my favorite packaging. I say this over and over again, but it does have a twist up top and then you have a doe foot applicator on them. It is a larger doe foot, so nice and easy to apply. One of my cons with the previous liquid blushes is the packaging because I feel like the packaging on those is a little bit wonky. So I'm glad that they have like a new, you know, sleek new packaging for these ones. So again, it does come in six different shades and there is a purple and I have been dying to get my hands on this purple. I actually was going to purchase these. Um, and so this was the one that I was like going to get, but NARS does send me PR. Sometimes it comes a little bit late. So I was like, okay, just hold out, just hold out. So I did, and it did end up showing up. So I'm glad I waited, but this was the one that I was eyeing the most. So this one is called Wonderlust, and it looks to be this beautiful like lilac purple color, and I cannot wait to try that on my cheeks because it's unlike anything that I really have, especially in liquid form. So I recently have been getting into liquid products. I wouldn't say that I am huge liquid blush wear. I am, however, into liquid bronzer. I've been using pr pretty much liquid bronzer every single day or cream bronzer for the last, mm, I'd probably say six months or so. So I am ready to find a liquid blush that I love just as equally as much because I do feel like liquid is just a little bit easier and I do feel like it looks a little bit better as my, you know, my skin tends to mature. I feel like it just looks a little more natural on me. So excited to give these a go. So let's now do the swatches. So I'll show you all of these shades. So I will show you all six of the shades and we'll get into the swatches and then of course we'll try them out on the cheeks. So they definitely feel liquidy. They feel like they have a lot of pigment to them as well. So here are swatches of the first three shades. So we of course have the shade Orgasm. They come out with everything in Orgasm. So that is that shade right there. This next second one is called Brazen right there. And then the very last one is that purple that I was telling you guys. It looks so pretty. I'm so excited about that one. It is called Wonder Lust. So again, Orgasm brazen and then wonderlust okay and then here are the last three shades so we have this one here which is behave then we have this one which is instable and then the last one is dulce vita so that is all six of the colors they look really pretty so we've got kind of these more deeper like we've got an orange a red got a peach, a pink. This one's more of like a peachy pink. And then we've got the purple. So I do feel like there's a nice range of colors when it comes to the colors they selected for this. Um, and I can't wait to try these out on the face. They're not drying down too fast. They do have a little bit of liquid look to them still. So I'm going to kind of swatch them, like kind of wring out the swatches here just to see how they feel. So doing that you can definitely tell that they have a nice luminosity to them these are supposed to be a very hydrating blush so you can just tell they're they're gonna look nice and hydrating on the face so i'm thinking with these i'm gonna try them out with a brush i think that'll be a little bit more ideal for me but we can also try them with a sponge as well and kind of see which one works better as i am most excited about the purple i'm going to try this one first but i also want to try a few other colors so we'll test a few out on the face but this one again is called wonderlust i am going to just apply it directly with the applicator and see how that goes so i'm just going to give myself a few dots so we'll start off slow and then kind of build from there for the brush that I'm going to be using, this is the ColourPop F31. I love using this brush for my cream products. I use it a lot for my cream contour. So I'm just going to tap this into the skin. That is pretty. It is pretty, but it is a little bit sheer. So I definitely think it is a buildable formula like it was mentioned. So I'm going to add a couple more dots on there. I actually prefer when my blushes are not as pigmented off the bat um, because I do want to be able to build them up. I don't want them to be too, that is pretty, 
Ooh, nice. Um, I don't want them to be too, you know, pigmented to where they're harder to blend. That is getting a really nice glow. You can tell there it's just getting like a nice healthy glow to the face. But you can definitely see the hint of purple. I really like that. Okay, let's try another one of the colors on the other side. For the other side, let's try Dulce Vita. This one is like the peachy pink shade and this one's a little bit deeper so we can kind of see with the deeper shade how that looks if it looks any different on my skin so I'm just kind of tapping this like so I really like the glow that this is giving it's just giving the perfect amount where it looks glowy but not where it's going to emphasize texture like I don't think it's making my pores look you know any way over here I think they're a little bit emphasize right here but nothing terrible it doesn't have any like glitter particles in it so that's always a good thing for me it just looks nice and healthy that shade is also really nice I feel like because it is a little bit deeper um I don't know that I need a huge amount on the second pass but we'll just add a little bit more just to build it up a little bit very easy to blend and it is not disrupting my foundation at all which is of course very important i also really like the applicator it gets a lot of product on it so just with one like little dip i was able to do quite a few swipes and i feel like there's still quite a bit of product sitting on the applicator there so i think it's a blush that's probably going to last you a long time i do want to see how it looks with a sponge so for that i'm just going to put some on my nose because you know why not i like a good lush nose moment so i'm going to add just a few <laughs> little dots there to my nose this is the orgasm shade and just tap that in with my sponge um for liquid products i don't always love using sponges they definitely work but i do feel like they tend to absorb a little bit um, I still feel like that's pretty pigmented though. You can definitely still see it. Let's add, you know, a little bit more just to give us a little bit of that sunburnt look. But I would probably recommend using a brush with these. Although the sponge, you can still see it. You can still see it, but it's definitely taking a bit of the product with it. So if you want to get more for your money there or anything like that, I would probably use a brush. But that's pretty. I like this. I like the formula. It does have a slight scent to it but it's not anything overpowering I did want to mention that as well but my skin just looks so glowy like that added just such a nice hydration to the skin it just makes me look nice and fresh it adds almost like a highlighted look while still being color I think it's really pretty looking now that it's been on a second too I want to see how it is setting my face doesn't feel sticky at all and it doesn't feel like it is something that's going to get like stuck in my hair which I appreciate because sometimes with liquid products I've mentioned this so many times but I have issues with them feeling sticky on my face so like for example the ColourPop their um like cheek dews like those I cannot use because they are just too sticky um I'm thinking of the Ciate London liquid blushes those are just a little bit too sticky for me as well because you can kind of feel them on your face and for someone who likes to wear my hair down a lot that tends to be an issue because I don't like the feeling of my hair like getting stuck in them so I'm doing that now and I don't feel like it is sticking and it doesn't feel like it is you know not set down like you can definitely feel it a little bit but it doesn't feel like you just have your you know like it doesn't feel like it's just sitting on my skin it feels like it kind of went into one with my skin and I do feel like it is looking nice I feel like I even could add a little bit more like what do you guys think I think this side in particular like let's add a little more purple why not so I'll just add a little bit more right in here and this time I'm going to use my finger to blend it out because sometimes with liquids your finger can also work really well especially at almost warming up the product but ugh, it just has such a nice glow to it like it automatically makes my skin just look more hydrated I will say with your finger it is giving more pigment so I think that's a good option to blend it out with your finger but I can definitely see where they say skincare because it is just really just going right into my face and my foundation and blending really nicely no you know patchiness or anything like that I really like it with my finger 
actually that looks really nice so as far as application I would say you could pretty much do this whichever way you would prefer I liked it with my finger I liked it with the brush it also worked with the sponge so just whatever you're feeling as far as applying you could also apply it directly to your brush and not using you know the applicator but I don't feel like using it on my face directly was a problem sometimes products can dry down pretty quickly or they can kind of tend to be harder to blend if you do that but I feel like it blended out just really easily with just applying it with the applicator which is nice so Hmm. I feel like it looks it looks good I don't know what I else I'm like supposed to say but I feel like it looks really nice on the skin again very hydrating it looks very just like dewy and glowy and healthy it's not you know too emphasizing in this area it's not glittery at all it just looks really really nice I can see myself reaching for these a lot um, I will of course update you guys if anything changes or throughout the day if I have any you know bad wear or anything like that but I think I could see myself using these quite a bit you will have to let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think I know this was a quicker video but um, hopefully that you found this helpful still again I will link all of the colors down below for you to shop I believe they're available at NARS as well as Ulta and Sephora so links will be down below thank you as always for watching and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video bye friends